When we hear about people talking about diet, something that often comes up is an alkaline diet. Can you explain that and why that might be more beneficial if that's something yeah, you Yeah, it's all about to? pH balance in mm -hmm. your body. So, and I talk about this in my book, the, you know, period of hydrogen pH level in your body um, is directly related to whether or not you get sick with certain diseases or whatever. Um, all cancer patients have a pH balance that is highly acidic. So pH balance is somewhere between 7.2 to 7.4, depending on who you read, you know, about mm -hmm. that. So, but when I was testing, I would be testing my urine daily and all throughout the day. And it was based on what I would be eating. So I would notice, like, if I would eat... Um, you know, raw almonds at night, when I wake up in the morning, my urine would be alkaline, so it would be above the 7.4 level, usually to an 8. Hmm. And um, that's good, because the more oxygen you have in your body, it can kill cancer, mm -hmm. or, you know, because an aerobic environment. Um, but what would happen is, with advanced cancer patients, I was studying, like Dr. Ravici, who was talking about you know, advanced cancer patients will vary on the pH scale. So my pH level throughout the day would go from a 5.0 all the way to an 8 and vary that drastically. Mm. But advanced cancer patients, they do, it varies that drastically. Whereas most might only vary from maybe a 6 to a 7.4, 7.6 or something. But yeah, if you have advanced cancer or it's something advanced going on in your body, it's going to vary the scale of mm. pH.